So for today, we're going to be doing the second Halloween video. If you guys don't know, I already made a first one. It is right here. If you guys want to see it, definitely some cool sets in there. This video, we're going to be looking at the Hunter Titan and Warlock specifically with certain exotics again, like the last video. So before we get started, let me just reiterate because I did say this in the first video. This will not be incorporating any of the mech armor pieces because I don't have any of them. If anyone wants to donate the Hunter one to me, then at that point I would actually get the Titan and Warlock and then I'll make a video and then make some other sets for them. But that's the only way I'll ever get that Hunter set because I am personally not going to spend money on it or am I going to buy it for Bright Dust because I personally just don't want to get it. But if someone again donates that set to me, then I'll make a video. Basically, you'd be sponsoring like a few videos, essentially. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and let's just get into it. So for the Hunter, we're going to be looking at the Omni Oculus, specifically with the Leering Marrow ornament. I actually like this ornament. My only gripe with it is I don't know who showed me this. It was some content creator. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. But someone told me this and it kind of ruined it for me. For those of you who know, you probably already know what I'm talking about. But it's the fact that this set has a belly button. And ever since then, I've never had, I've, I've always hated the set because of the belly button. Uh, I mean, to be fair, it's not just the belly button, but it is a big portion of it. It's a few other things, but I still think if you, if you try to make it look good, it actually looks cool as fuck. So for the helmet, we're using the Apilos Falling Mask because of the skull. Honestly, that's really the big reason here. For the arms, we're using the Dark Hollow Grasps because I actually like them. Like, they're not my favorite, but I do like them. And obviously we're trying to go for a bone look for this set, which I think this is the only set we're doing a bone look technically. You guys will understand technically when we look at the Titan. Uh, for the boots, we're using the Twisting Echo Strides. I personally like these, but at the same time, I wish that this had retained more of the bone like the Titan does because the Titan is like pure bone and very minimal cloth. And I just wish, I wish we had a little bit more symmetri symmetrical pieces and just ugh, too much cloth in my opinion. But I mean, that's, that's the hunter way apparently. And then for the cloak, we're using the steeplechase cloak, which I did advise the hunters in the last video that the steeplechase a hood would re look really good with the last one. So just to show you guys, steeplechase is one of my favorite cloaks in the game because it looks really cool. But hunters, let me know what you guys think. This is kind of like a bare bone one. I'm not even trying to be funny there, but you can switch out the dark hollow stuff with the twisting echo stuff and the Apilos following stuff as well to like, if you don't want to use the pieces that I personally use. And obviously you can use more than one piece of each of the sets. It's just for me personally, I have the rule where I don't like to have more than one piece in a set, but sometimes I do, I am lenient with myself like the last exhibit, like the last video, for example. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. And let's just get on to the Titan. As for the Titans, I ended up going with a kind of costume look. I don't, there has been people that have done this in the past, but I just don't remember which pieces they did use. But the main focus of this set was the chest piece because the chest piece, I think is a perfect example of like an organic, not metal, but like an organic look. So if you guys haven't guessed yet, this is the uh, Xenomorph inspiration costume, I guess you would say. And Xenomorph is very organic. Like a lot of the armor that it has is very organic. So I really decided to just go in all in, all in on it. And I'm happy that I did because this is easily one of my favorite looks To Unfortunately, the exotic itself, I don't use ever. So I don't know if I'll ever use this, but I still think it looks amazing. So for the helmet, we're using the Terra Concord helmet. This is an old helmet, but I'm happy that I still have it because I think this is the best choice for this set. The helmet has like this like uh, flap at the end of the, or not flap, like fin, I guess you would say. No, whatever. This like piece at the end that looks so good with the set, especially if you're trying to go for a Xenomorph look. For the arms, we're using the Nemean gauntlets. Now specifically because the arms are very smooth and the shoulder pieces are also smooth, but have like not organic, but like to me, they look organic, but it's mainly the forearms and the, the pauldrons is why I'm using them for the chest piece. We're using the severance enclosure. This is 
literally the main piece that fits everything together personally just because of the organicness of it the pipes everything just scream uh xenomorph to me personally just that's just how i feel about it for the for the boots reason the Florian greaves again an organic looking set just looks really good with it i love the fact that the knees are also pointy um that's really it a lot of just pieces just organic that's all i'm really trying to go for organic like looking metal armor that's really it uh for the cloak or for the mark using the wing discipline just because i like the fact that it's ragged at the end or at the tip of the mark and i think that's literally the only reason why i chose this i didn't want anything too crazy for the belt although you could probably just use the Florian uh mark which would be really good because it is organic but i used it in the last video and i didn't want to use it again and specifically because i am using the Florian greaves which is why i'm not using that but yeah I think this is like one of my favorite sets that I've made because it just looks amazing. And I really do think the chest piece really just holds it all together. Although I think the helmet also does have a big portion of that as well. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. Definitely, definitely a cool set. Let me know what you guys think. And then last but not least, we have the Warlocks. So this one kind of breaks my heart because hopefully you guys will understand where my thought process was with this but i was trying to go for a smoking like look for this set so for the helmet obviously a pile was following hood because of the smoky blackness of it for the helmet for the gauntlets and the and the bond we're using the necrotic grips for the arms and the apilos following bond for the bond specifically because they both have this green uh burn or not burn uh smoke my grievance with this helmet is the fact that a that fucking skull does not change color only on select few pieces but the smoke doesn't change color either and nor does the smoke change color for the arms or the bond so now i'm at this weird like limbo of like there's three pieces that have smoke but they don't match colors. And I wanted to show you guys my sadness over it because if, if, if for some reason I could change the smoke for the helmet and into a green, I think this set would be so fucking scary. But unfortunately we don't live in that world. So it, it'd be like that. So for the chest piece, we're using the Scorn Baron robes because I feel like it looks really good. Almost like my warlocks being chained down for their sins. For the boots, we're using this fetish boots. I didn't want anything too crazy for the boots because I want the like the waist up to be like the main focus. And then for the bond, obviously the bond from the Grasp of Avarice just looks amazing with the necrotic grips. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys understand my pain of not being able to, re to like change the smoke of the helmet i'm so sad about it because i think it would have been so scary especially if the helmet turned into like a dark green and then the smoke was that gr bright green oh my god or if i could change the colors of the arms and the bond to black that would have been even more terrifying <laughs> unfortunate but yeah let me know what you guys think uh i have a few videos lined up i am working on the exotic videos that i have not been doing i do apologize my my pinch nerve is still fucking annoying me like it still hurts so at this point i think i'm just gonna have to bite the pillow real hard and just make this content and then just lay down after i make it because just sitting on my chair hurts so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help and i'll see you guys later